Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the final part of 8.12 for exploration. Today is going to be power suppression, avarice, small arms, with red lining and bubble sheet. And before I start, this is in my opinion the most annoying path of 8.1. It's, it's, it's just really annoying to deal with. Bring in your size champion that have a lot of debuffs. So for example, your Void, Mr. Fantastic, Anti-Venom, uh, I-Bomb and Captain America with the right synergies, uh, Quicksilver, all of these champions will work. You need just need a lot of debuffs to keep the defenders uh, power locked. So there's going to be really annoying defenders. Make sure that you bring a counter for a Morningstar with that bleeds and then there's also a very annoying Mangog and a Null. So all in all, pretty annoying path to deal with. The defend, uh, the boss we're going to attempt is going to be a Black Panther Civil War, uh, Civil War also. So stay tuned to the video. We'll discuss through one by one. And before you do, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications. All of that really helps you out a lot and helps me grow the channel. So the first fight is going to be a Juggernaut and I would highly suggest you to bring in your Science Champion like Immortal Abomination, Professor... Uh, sorry, Quicksilver, Mr. Fantastic, Scorpion, Void, anti venom all of these champions that have a lot of debuffs. Because when you will use the special, you will power lock the opponent. And once the opponent is power locked, when the cooldown will be over, it will look for another debuff on the opponent and refresh itself. Something like that happens with Gwen Pool's Bleed. It's a similar mechanic, but with a power lock. Now you can have that and then you can just keep Juggernaut in the corner, stop him from throwing specials and going to that unstoppable and you can kill him off. My absolute MVP for this path is Abomination Immortal. You, as you can see, just keeping him in the corner, you use one SP2 and after that just rinse and repeat SP1s. Keep those uh, poisons up and you are able to melt away the defender easily. It's all about controlling the power with the power lock with size champions and you are good. You can use another champion, somebody like Magic, but because there is going to be a node that is red lining is you have to use your power as you as soon as you get to two bars of power otherwise you will be powered in so you have to keep an eye on that as well and also don't take them to more than two bars of power or a near sp3 because they also have avarice that gives them a power gain buff every 15 seconds so just be wary about that uh, try to use your specials uh, when d does not have power try to take them in a corner so that will help out for me this has been the most annoying path for 8.1 Now the next defender is going to be Hela. Both of her specials can be easily evaded. Now you will notice that I brought a non-science champion here. I brought a Black Widow Clairvoyant. A lot of my champions were locked into uh, Alliance War and Alliance Quest. So I could not bring the champions I wanted to. So I used uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. Now this fight you can do much more easier if you bring in a long shot. He does a much better job here. Otherwise just bring in your science champion and you can slowly chip away with all of those debuffs. For example, Void will do really well here. Mr. Fantastic will also do really well here. And if she has one or two bars of power, you can do extra damage with your specials as an attacker. So yeah, just slowly chip away. Because I'm using a Mystic Champion, it took me a, a bit longer time to kill her. But it is doable fight with uh, any other champion. But I would suggest bringing the Science Champion power lock below one bar of power. And you can just keep repeating that and keep putting those debuffs and keep uh, the Defender power locked.
Next defender is going to be a morning star. Make sure that you bring in a good counter for her because she is going to apply the bleeds. So all you need to do is to bring in the science champion, preferably who is also bleed immune. Take her to a corner, and then you can just uh, use a special attack like that. And now she is enervate; she cannot gain power. And I like to just do heavies in the corner and that do all the damage to her whenever she will get one bar of power i will move away but apart from that i can just do heavy attacks keep her trapped in the corner with a science champion and she will die very quick some of the good options can be magneto because she's a metal champion one sp3 should kill her also anybody that is bleed immune would work here as well try to use champions that have that bleed immunity so you can avoid the bleeds from hitting her and not die and kill her off any champion that has energy attack would also work so plenty of different options my favorite one is human torch if you have human torch bring him Next defender is going to be a Mysterio. Now I'm just having fun here, so I'm using Cosmic Ghost Rider. But I would highly suggest you a Science Champion, so you do not give her power, uh, give him power, and preferably a Science Champion that is poison immune. So even if it gets the poison on you, it doesn't affect you, and you can keep going. Now I've just brought in a Cosmic Ghost Rider, so I will have to tank. It. So I will have to dex his specials and dance around until uh, until his SP1 and SP2 return damage is not removed and then i can go back in so this miss chance is there so i will have to wait for it and now i can go back in attack but again i would suggest much better is to bring in science champions throw your special and should be able to take mystery out although he's going to be an annoying defender but you should be able to be okay with the right champion another one that really worked for me was hulkling hulkling did an amazing job against mysterio as well so if you have him he works good here also And next defender is going to be a very annoying and pesky mango with all of that power gain and his sp1s and sp2s now remember to keep a special with you in case he gets to 10 of his race charges as he goes unstoppable it will happen with me twice now i did try to throw an sp2 and control his power and uh, keep him into a corner but he throws an sp1 here and then he goes unstoppable and in the meanwhile i run out of the poisons so that can be a bit annoying now i have to dance around so his rage charges go away and his unstoppable goes away so yeah that this is the only annoying part if you're using somebody like captain america infinity war or any science champion that can go against unstoppable and take care of unstoppable like she hulk you should be good here as well but i prefer abomination immortal because of all of his damage and the poison he does so he takes away him very very quickly
and the final defender before the boss is going to be a null now with null he's a pretty straightforward and easy defender his sp2 is easily evadable the only problem happens when he armor breaks you and also when he throws an sp1 and he can reverse your controls if you can get past that this fight is very easy to deal with so to get past the armor breaks i brought in an armor break immune champion that is going to be a doctor doom i brought in a five star version so it is more relatable i could have brought in a rank four as well but this fight is actually a little difficult so you have to really play slow here i would still suggest bring science champions that have quite a lot of debuffs and by the time you bait out one sp2 there should be enough debuff on uh, null that he will not gain any more power so just be careful about that once you have him power locked and all the debuff champions will do the rest for me, I just used in a Doctor Doom and spam my SP2s, so that helped me out, and I was able to take him down, and I healed up of uh, willpower as well. So again, this is an annoying fight. It's a very difficult path in my opinion. Make sure to bring in the right champions. Mostly, you will have to bring in science champions. Just be careful about bringing a bleed immune champion for that morning star. The boss is going to be a Black Panther with 6 sense, explosive personality, the best defense and bleed immunity with physical resistance. Now there's also buff synthesis so whenever you as an attacker will have an armor up and you will get a precision buff on you, you will convert into true buff. And this fight is all about having the true uh, buff and, and being able to bypass the auto block. For me, I am using Odin because I get true sense whenever I use an SP1 and also it refreshes every time. Also, I get armor up so this is like a double insurance for me because what happens if you cannot bypass the auto block because the chances are increased because of 6 sense also, sorry, the best defense also, you end up hitting the defender in his block and once you hit him 5 times, he gets 5 armor ups and those explode in your face and give, give you 25% of your health as damage because of explosive personality so a champion with an armor up mostly is going to be a cosmic or um, colossus can also work but you will have to play, play like a no parry style so again here i'm waiting for my true strike i will use an sp1 it will refresh that and now i don't have to worry about the auto block if you want to check out another takedown with angela it was on the previous video so you can check that as well and this is a takedown with odin so I hope you find this helpful guys and it helps you beat or oh, beat Black Panther and complete 8.1.2. Now the two the only parts remaining are going to be 8.1.1. So I'll see you there guys and if you want to check out more videos check out the playlist on the top right and the most recent upload on your left. So I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you at the end of the video.
Thank you so much for checking out the video guys make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on all the post notifications and leave a comment down below all of that really helps me out a lot and helps me grow the channel. Apart from that guys I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.